Getting paid once is great, but you know what's even better? Getting paid again and again and again. And that's exactly what we've done with better proposals and with subscriptions. So one of the things that you can do, and I've explained this in a previous video, is get a payment taken the second somebody signs a proposal. But once somebody's already done that, what you can then do is go to the proposal screen, which is the one that shows you all of the analytics and everything else. And on the right hand side, you'll see a button there that says start subscription. Now from there, what you can do is tell Stripe or Go Cardless to start a subscription for a future date. So you choose the future date and you can start a subscription way off into the future. So I want to describe a scenario to you so you can see how Better Proposals handles this entire thing from start to finish. So we're just going to go with a simple website example with some sort of monthly fee for hosting, right? So what you might want to do is take a 50% payment up front and that's due upon signing the proposal, which would make sense, that's fairly normal. And then later on in the project, you might have a situation where maybe you've completed the design, for instance, and you want them to um, make the next payment. Now, the best way to do this is to send them a secondary proposal that has a client sign-off form on it that has them approving the design, which not only keeps them accountable, it keeps your projects moving along smoothly or raises any objections so you can handle them there and then. And then on the back of them signing that to approve that they're happy with their design or whatever it is in your industry, they then pay a further, say, 25% or 40%. So that gets you that, say, $400. So now you've had the bulk of it. And then you might want to do the same thing again right at the very end. So you can do all of this with three proposals, for instance, and that is the entire project handled. You can then come back in, start your subscription for the relevant date, and you've got this entire process completely handled. What's even better than that is that the client would be added to either your GoCardless or Stripe accounts. And if you didn't want to take any payments through Better Proposals, for instance, you could just log straight into your Stripe account, go to that customer, and you can do whatever you want from there. So you, know, you can charge them again, charge the card, put them on different subscriptions, etc., etc. So it really gives you a whole load of control over the entire process from start to finish, from the first proposal all the way through the project, right the way to wrapping it up and getting them to sign it off. Fully encourage you to get this sorted out. It's a really, really, really cool feature and really will help your business run at a more sort of you know, it's a, really just a higher level and a quality level. It makes you look better, it's easier for you, it's easier for your client, more importantly than anything else, it makes you guys look awesome. So get this set up, it's well worth a couple of minutes it takes to get your head around it.